So this is about controlling blood sugar levels. Let's first look at what happens when my blood sugar level goes high. So that might happen if, for instance, I've eaten a nice meal of pasta and that's a carbohydrate and that goes broken down into glucose so I've now got lots of glucose in my blood. Or, let's make it more fun, I've just got some sugar here so I'm going to eat a massive spoonful of sugar to increase my blood sugar levels. Oh my god, yeah, yeah. Right, so my blood glucose levels now have gone up. I've got lots of sugar in my blood. That's not a good thing. So I need to bring it back down. So what happens is the glucose in my blood gets turned into something called glycogen, which is then stored in my liver. How does that happen? Well, when my blood glucose levels go up, my pancreas goes, oh no, there's lots of glucose in the blood, and it releases a hormone called insulin. And what the insulin does is insulin turns glucose into glycogen, and that then stores it in my liver, and my blood glucose levels go back down to normal. So this is about diabetes, and diabetes is a disease which affects how easily people can control their blood glucose levels. And the danger if I've got diabetes is that my blood glucose levels may go too high and that has a risk of making me very tired or possibly causing eye disease um, or my blood glucose levels can drop too low and there's a danger that I might fall unconscious. And there are two types of diabetes which you need to know about, type 1 and type 2. Let's talk about type 1 first. Type 1 diabetes is if my pancreas doesn't produce any insulin at all. So what do I need to do if that happens? Well, I'm going to need to inject myself with insulin um, un into the fat under my skin called the subcutaneous fat. So I need to inject insulin. The other things I'm going to do is I'm going to watch my diet. I'm going to control what I eat to monitor the levels of glucose in my blood. And I'm also going to take lots of physical exercise Again, that will help me control the levels of glucose in my blood. And that's type 1 diabetes, where I don't produce any insulin at all. My pancreatic cells do not work. Right, if I've got type 2 diabetes, that's different than type 1. It's likely that I've got type 2 diabetes a bit later in my life. It's possible that that type 2 diabetes has been caused due to obesity. So you need to look at what the body max index might tell us about somebody. Um, and if I've got type 2 diabetes, that means that I can still probably produce some insulin, but my body just doesn't respond to it in the right way. So I've become resistant to the insulin. So what can I do about that? I need to control my diet. I need to watch how much carbohydrate I eat, how much sugar I eat. Also, I need to also take regular exercise to control my levels of blood sugar. And that's type 2 diabetes.